welcome back to my youtube channel dear family hope you're all well and enjoying life with good food good health and uh, lots of water and taking good care of yourself so this video is specifically about um, my liquid uh, skin foundations yes all the cream foundations on the liquid foundations not about the powder foundations so let's begin so the first product uh, and one of my most favorite, I think my most favorite uh, foundation is um, Mac Studio Fix. This is when I wear when I have to get a full, uh, full, full coverage, uh, and this is this this looks very 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 neat on camera. So whenever I'm going to any wedding or any special occasion where I uh, have to look very elegant, then this is the foundation I use. And the best part is it has the SPF uh, 15 as well. At the same time, it gives you a very natural coverage, uh, full coverage, but very natural. And uh, I think for my skin type, uh, MAC products work, work really well for me. The second foundation I would talk about is uh, Naked uh, by Urban Decay. This is basically, a, it's a light, weight foundation weightless liquid foundation and you can see it's almost almost empty but uh in my experience uh this is very light i mean it's just like cream you put on your hands and apply on your face and you're good to go you don't need a beauty blender or a brush to uh, you know uh, smooth it out but i have one concern with this after two three hours it's almost absorbed in your skin and your skin is like you know gone the foundation is gone so uh, if I am using this product, I have to reapply it after like three to four hours. So previously I was, every day I was using this one at work because it was easy to use in the morning. But after three, four hours, I, I saw I have to go and, you know, retouch my makeup. That's what I don't want to do because, you know, just one, doing makeup once in the morning is enough. I mean, that's what I, I, I really prefer to do. So the third product I would share here is a very small uh, by Fenty Beauty, I think Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. So this is what my mother uh, actually gave me to try. This is a nice formula, but um, this one, this one, the one I got, it's a bit uh, darker than my skin. So I cannot actually um, provide a review about it because whenever I wear it, I look more tan. So I think I'll keep it for summers when I am very tan and I have to apply some dark shades. The third foundation is this from Morphe. And this is a, a very uh, high coverage foundation and it's called Filter Perfect. I'll just put it here and show you. Look. Oops. This makes your skin go very blur. It's But it's a very, you know, dry and uh, it's a bit... Uh, hard to blend I mean it's, it takes up some time to blend and smooth it out so whenever I have to um, I don't know I just recently got it so I have not applied it uh, at a lot of places but I think uh, it's again a full coverage foundation as well so the fifth foundation I would share with you is this from Pixi Beauty Balm this is basically, uh, I've made a video, another video about Pixi products as well. This is very hydrating. Right now I'm wearing this. Uh, it's very light uh, coverage. Uh, it's like light to medium coverage, but it's very hydrating for the skin. And it feels very natural and very, it gives you a very glowy skin. So this is what I use when I'm in a dry environment. And, uh, mm, and I'm going to use a bit of, uh, you know, my skin is a bit dry as well. That's when I use this because it's very creamy and very um, nice. So the next foundation is from L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I'll be very honest about it. Whenever I get a chance to buy this, I'm going to buy two, three more bottles of it. it this has been amazing. I think I've been using it for the last three, four years now. It's a, it's a very, very nice product. I don't know what it do to your skin. It's a bit dry, but it's very good for specifically for summers and uh, for uh, monsoon specifically because it's uh, whenever you apply it it gets very dry and uh, I think it's not recommended for winters when there's very very uh, dry weather because uh, it's obviously a dry sort of a dry product otherwise this is amazing I just love this one 
I have another uh, uh, foundation which I almost every day wear. That's called uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear Base. Uh, to be honest, I don't have it right now with me because I have put it in my office drawer. So whenever I'm late, I don't have time to work. I mean, to get ready in the morning, I go to work and, you know, then apply my foundation. I go to the bathroom and do it quickly. So I have kept it in the office just to, you know, make sure that I don't miss out my foundation because I need a nice and clean skin. And uh, the next uh, product I would share is, by again, by my favorite uh, MAC. This is also Studio Fix. Uh, this is like stick. It's a stick, basically. This is very nice. It's uh, uh, obviously this is basically a bit dry. Uh, you have to have your skin very hydrated before you apply it, and you have to blend it with your beauty blender. But otherwise, I just love this one as well. So sometimes, uh, again, this is very easy to apply. You just have to, you know, put some lines on your face and blend it very smoothly. So I am in love with. Obviously, I always love Mac, and this is one of my favorite products as well. The next product I would share, uh, the foundation I would share is from this Zero Palette. This is basically by Zavila and uh, this has these four things. So this is foundation and it's very creamy formula and it's very nice, very nice coverage as well. And this is the, um, you got it right? And this is for cheeks and lips. This is what is on, in my bag all the time. So whenever I don't have anything, this is my best friend because it has a mirror as well. And by the way, this has a this had a, a powder as well, which got broken. So I have I put it in another box. Otherwise, this is always my go-to uh, makeup solution. Other than these um, uh, foundations. I have some powder foundations or powders as well, which I time to time use depending on the weather, the sort of weather. For now, uh, right now where I live is a bit uh, dry and uh, I'm using more of the cream products and my skin gets dry if I don't apply a lot of moisturizer or I use products with uh, a lot of uh, moisture. So uh, the next th thing I'm going to show you is uh, this collection of the samples that I collect from time to time. This helps me to decide which uh, products I have to buy in my next purchase, which, you know, I just love it. So this is from uh, Becca. They actually provide these four. This is very lighter than my skin. I think this is my skin color or this. I can apply these both. And uh, sometimes what I do is I mix these two shades and, you know, apply. So I have not tried these. I've recently got these and... Uh, um, so I cannot decide right now which Becca foundation I should try. But hopefully, let's see. Um, with this Urban Decay, this is the Urban Decay. Uh, basically, this is for, uh, uh, oops, this is actually not foundation. This is primer. I'll make a separate video on uh, face primers. And then this is from uh, Bare Minerals. Uh, as per, th this is in four different shades. And uh, again, cashmere, chai, toffee, natural. Uh, I have actually tried the natural shade and uh, I don't remember how it felt on my skin. So sorry about that. But I do collect these and, uh, you know, uh, try in my skin and then see what, what gives me good product. Next products uh, which I have in my mind is the, uh, the, there's this brand called Kiko by Milani. Kiko by Milani and uh, some other products, uh, especially uh, the foundations, which I have recently explored, explored a new brand, which is uh, Clinique. And they have very good foundations and, you know, uh, their skincare line is really good. I'm using it and I'm really happy with the results. So um, that's what I'm going to hopefully try in upcoming months. I'm going to buy when I <laughs> go to for shopping again, I will definitely try to use some new products uh, and find out what's the best fix for me. Of course, right now I already know that it's a, it is MAC, but I would like to explore more products as well. And uh, um, I will be very honest here with you. The secret to your good foundation is uh, dependent on a few other things as well. The first thing is how hydrated your skin is. That depends on how, uh, how much water you drink every day and what is your skincare routine. I mean, your skin has to have, a, you know, sufficient uh, nutrients uh, external externally applied and from internal as well like vitamin c your uh, hyaluronic acids and um, much more and the second very 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 important thing is 
how uh, neat your skin is. That means that your dead skins are removed, skin cells are removed because if you have some skin, dead skin on your face, your uh, foundation is going to go cakey and look very, you know, patchy and uh, very strange. And I have experienced it personally because I used retinol and it makes my skin, you know, uh, my dead skin go very fast. So if I don't um, scrub my face regularly, it, it makes a lot of patches here and here and here as well. So uh, that's again dependent on uh, um, uh, how frequently you scrub your skin. So whenever you are going to any wedding function or anywhere, just make sure that your, your skin is nicely scrubbed, moisturized before you actually apply any foundation. And that would give you lasting uh, skin care foundation and a natural glow as well. And lastly, not uh, obviously everybody knows, but uh, well rested skin, uh, not sleep deprived. When, whenever I am sleep deprived, my eyes are like, you know, um, I, I feel like a zombie. And I, I look like a zombie actually. So it's very important that you have your, uh, you have you slept well and um, you're hydrated and uh, you are um, in a good mood or, you know. So whenever I am actually going, I'm going somewhere or I'm just doing my makeup, I put on a candle sometimes or sometimes some light music and I get ready and it's like a sort of a meditation for me. Uh, it's like a way of spending time with myself and, uh, um, just looking beautiful and uh, so try it it's kind of a therapy as well so thank you so much for watching and listening to my um, reviews about the skincare products uh, not actually skincare foundations uh, I do a lot of videos about skincare that is why I keep on saying skincare 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 so um, thank you so much for watching the video uh, if you like the video please uh, mention that in comment box and uh, like the video and um, if you don't like it <laughs> and uh, I look forward to see you in my next videos and uh, take good care of yourself and I love you all and I pray that everything in your life happens perfectly and smoothly and nicely and easily. Amin. Bye bye.